Welcome back. Today we are tipping our hats to a unique holiday. It is National Hat Day. Oh, hit them with cute <laughs> pictures now. Little ones over at Primrose School of Grapevine, Colleyville, down there, favorite snapbacks, their beanies. We even spotted a CBS 11 cap right there. Yeah, gotta love that. And this is no ordinary day for the Garland based Milano Hat Factory. Photojournalist Mike Kenny shows us how employees are celebrating. There are very few things that any of us uh, wearing right now are made in the United States. And uh, our hats have been always and always will be made right here in the good old U.S. of A. Well, today is National Hat Day. The very first National Hat Day was in 1983. Oddly enough, uh, that was the year that the Milano Hat Company was founded right here in Garland, Texas. Ready? Go. So we celebrate National Hat Day, and so we like to do fun things uh, for them to keep the morale up, uh, and National Hat Day is just uh, another one of those examples. <laughs> this is the hat that Bruno Mars prefers. We send about a dozen of these to each tour stop that he has. He likes to throw them out into the crowd. We're very proud of the fact that uh, folks like uh, Bruno Mars is a big fan. Uh, James Spader from The Blacklist, Clint Black, Toby Keith, Kenny Chesney. We made hats for Lady Gaga's tour. Um, we also make the hats that uh, were featured uh, in Indiana Jones. I would estimate about 80% of all the hats that are manufactured here in the United States are done right here in the city of Garland, Texas. It is the hat capital of the United States. It's a day really for all Americans uh, to celebrate. It's the one thing we all have in common. Everybody's got a hat. You know, what's really cool about that, Mike Kenny, by the way, is the fact that you don't see machines making these hats. Mm -hmm. These are people putting them together, steaming them, and it's the handwork that makes it so special. 